Patrick McDonald! Hello. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, thanks a million. It's good. It's good to be back, isn't it? Yeah, it was away for far too long uh, for a couple of years there. It was great. Uh, and it was a tough few years, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You lying shites. You were on 350 quid a week for free, you fuckers. <laughs> you bled the country dry and now you're back. Look at you. Yeah, but I mean, 350 quid a week, it was fantastic, wasn't it? And you don't have to pay it back. It's brilliant. And our national debt now is, is a 250 billion euro. It's a world record, aren't we brilliant? <laughs> yes, we can, Ireland. We can do it if we want to. But don't worry. As it turns out, our grandchildren are going to pay it off. The fucking idiots. I haven't a clue. <laughs> I mean, negotiated that would I don't know who the spokesperson was, the Teletubby, someone, I don't know. But it's, I feel like going up to the local maternity hospital tonight. I'm going into the ward, the maternity ward, and just as the babies peep on out from between the mother's legs and say, 100 grand, yo, you little fuck, come on, pay up. <laughs> come on, did a great time, finish Netflix, come on now. But it wasn't all, you know, uh, good news, the pan pandemic, you know, was, uh, there was a lot of bad stuff as well. And uh, like, fungi died, or left, fungi swam away. Wasn't it tragic? No, you don't care, do you? You hate dolphins, absolutely, I know, you'd eat them as well. And, uh, no, but I mean, it was very hard for Kerry. Like, Kerry's finished now, they have no economy. But that's like Intel leaving leak slip, you know? He was there, maybe he was paying 12.5% corporation tax and he said, feck that, I'm going to Indonesia, go away. I'm not paying 15%, no way. And it was heartbreaking. It was, it was a great ambassador for Ireland. But then, what God takes with one hand, he gives with the other. And within two weeks, who turns up on our shore but Wally the Walrus? Do you remember him? <laughs> Wally the Walrus. It was fantastic. Walrus swam all the way from Newfoundland, and he went to Clare, and people were visiting him, and were making money, and he went all the way around the coast. Then it turns out Wally the Walrus was Wally the feckin' wanker. And Wally went to England, the dirty whore. Unbelievable. <laughs> And he was making money over in Cornwall, and we were just so hurt. And then he came back, and he smashed up a few boats. He was probably high in cocaine or something, I don't know. <laughs> and he swam away again. So within the space of a few weeks, Fungi swam away, then Wally the Walrus swam away. I'll tell you what, if Ian Bailey swims away, Irish tourism's finished. <laughs> I saw the documentary on Michael Jackson. Okay, and do you think, what do you think? Like, it was hard to tell, wasn't it? His story is that he's just a man-child who never grew up. Like, he was put on stage too young, never grew up, and he never developed. A bit like that Disney character, you know, dressed in green, flew around. What was his name? That's right, Pedo Pan, and uh, he, uh, <laughs> Yeah, Pedo Pan, that's a, that, that, it's a scary thought, isn't it? A pedophile who could sprout wings. I, that keeps you awake at night. That's probably what they're making in that lab that made coronavirus. That'll be the next pandemic, then flying around. Unbelievable. Tell you what, you'll vaccinate your kids then, no guarantee. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And I watched too much television over the uh, pandemic. Like, I watched a lot of television, and like, every second program is a lifestyle show. Too many cookery programs, first of all. Donald Skihan, lovely fella, but feck off out of my house. <laughs> Uh, that hair is disgusting, and you know, and everything's oh, you put it, oh, I put it basil and dill. Would you feck off? We don't have the enzyme to break down dill in Ireland. <laughs> if I eat dill with the size of my head, it's huge. I have hallucinations. I ate some dill during the summer. I thought my house was worth half a million. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> off my rocker. And then the, all these, how many property shows do we need in Ireland? There's not enough property, and we keep doing it up, it becomes more expensive. Like, you know, a few years, 10 years ago, if you watched the property programme, it was all about going open plan. Open plan in Ireland, you're fucking mental. Like, you, you, it's like a fucking wind tunnel in my house now. If you open the front door and the back door, you literally fly away like that, you know? Like, like a Boeing, like that, you know? Unbelievable. And then that Dermot feckin' Bannon. What is his thing? Everything's now natural light. He always wants big feckin' windows showing natural light. Irish people are burning up in their kitchens like that. <laughs> We're not made for natural light. Like, my mother wouldn't let natural light into her, our house because it showed up the dirt. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and basically, he wants it coming in and that's all. And, like, we have a lot to hide, like, in Ireland. We have, we have things to hide. Like, you know, if brother and sister want to live like man and wife, you need curtains. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at Newgrange, the oldest building in the world. It's still standing. Like, they did do the DNA tests on the bones and the rim braid, right? But they, it's still standing, right? And there's not one feckin' window, no windows in Newgrange. They just have one little hole that lets in light once a year on the 21st of December, that chamber lights up. And people used to wonder, I wonder what they say when the chamber lit up. What did they say when they prayed to God or their ancestors? No, when the chamber lit up, they just say, would you look at the state of the dirt in here? Jesus Christ. 
you're some brother slash, slash husband slash son. No way, you know. But yeah. But I hope we stay liberal in Ireland. That's the one thing. We've become very liberal. And I hope it spreads. Like in the North, they had to have marriage equality imposed on them. Wasn't that mad? They, wouldn't, they couldn't vote for it. And a lot of people were against it. Like the Orange Order were against it. Even though I can't think of a gay organization in the whole world. Did you ever see the marching in July? It's like a pride parade, you know what I mean? It's like they're marching along, muscly feckers like that, big handlebar moustaches, like the village people, you know? And there's a cheerleader up the front, twirling the baton like that, and he's going around. They're so repressed, I believe there should be a festival next year just for gay orange men called the Forbidden Flute Festival. <laughs> Flute is a willy in that context, I just wanted to point that out. If you didn't know, it was a willy, yeah. Anyway, listen, you've been absolutely lovely. I've been Patrick McDonald. Thank you very much, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.